Befriending users in games is a natural leap any social game will encounter. Accordingly, every virtual pet game I play has some sort of buddy list that catalogs friends. That's usually where the functionality ends. What if buddy lists did more? What if your lied-in friends could boost your lioness's happiness, or your tattered wee friends complete a small task to boost your kith skill? Let's talk about how to make friends more social in sim games. <laughs> It's no secret that befriending other users makes users want to play that game more. You can meet someone in the forums who has a similar mindset to you, or you could have a positive encounter trading goods. An accepted friend request is a handshake signifying a shift to someone's inner circle. You're no longer a stranger, you're a friend. At least, that's what it should be like. Instead, befriending other users is treated like a necessary evil. There's an invite, a response, and then either that person's added to a list or they aren't. And you don't think about it anymore. The feature isn't challenged or explored. Let's talk about how a few different games approach friending and when they're falling short or exceeding. I have a few interaction ideas that could shake things up that aren't incredibly game specific. Once we start brainstorming, we can discuss how to make the feature natural to the game experience. Clanheart. I bet you were not expecting this to start with Clanheart. Well, there haven't been any functional updates to this game since March, and the online count is pretty grim, Clanheart did the very thing I want every virtual pet game to do with friends. It gave them a social space in the friend feed. The friend feed is a news feed that posts in-game achievements, activities, and status updates. These can be as mundane as posting in a thread or as content-rich as hatching babies. Users can like these posts and filter by top liked this week. Imagine the opportunities. If someone hatched a baby I liked, I could easily see the baby and then message the user. If a friend achieved something truly great, I could celebrate with them without them actively posting about it. This is such a great starting point. I don't know if more features will be added or what the friend ecosystem was supposed to be like on Clanheart, but this was such a good idea. But then again, all of Clanheart is a good idea, and I would love to please see some kind of updates here. Please, I'm begging you. I would love to see the friend feed on Flight Rising or frankly any game. I easily have more Neo friends than on all of the other games combined. I accept friend requests almost daily despite them not really having a function. Why do I accept them? Well, because I try to be nice, but also because Neopets notification system is the most annoying thing ever and I am a notification completionist. It's like the Neopets team knew that they should try to make Neofriends functional, but couldn't quite figure it out. Users can send items from their inventory to their Neo friends, selected from a drop-down list. But because users would have excessive lists of Neo friends, the Neopets team added VIP Neo friends, a limited group of 50 users that would show up in this drop-down. Users can decide that they only accept messages from friends, which I think is pretty nice. Because Neopets is largely an item management and acquisition game, there's the option for Neofriend-only auctions. This is probably more useful with a more active user base. I liked this idea of Neofriend-only trading behaviors. I wonder if it would have any benefit to run a Neofriend-only shop. And I think those are all of the things Neofriends can do. Well, I mean, besides that Neofriends online box. That actually used to work. Now it just says that it's in beta and no one's online. How cheery. But I guess that's just how betas work. Flight Rising, like Neopets, has a loud and unavoidable friend request notification. I tend to accept these every day, even though Flight Rising friends have the very least capabilities of all these games. The only point of having this friend list is easy access to those friends. Interesting tidbit, Flight Rising has activity feed capabilities that could easily port into a friend feed. Every user's page has their recent clan activity that summarizes little update snippets. This feature is already halfway to being a full friend feed. It just needs some tweaking and reformatting. The biggest opportunity with Flight Rising has got to be the auction house revamp. If you're not aware, the auction house is getting a restructure. The March 2016 Words on the Wind went into detail over the changes. That was nine months ago and I forgot about the details. While recalling the structure, I was positive there was the ability to filter to your friends' auctions. While preparing for this video, I realized you can only conduct flight-specific auctions, realm-wide auctions, or private user-to-user -user auctions. Wouldn't the ability to filter to friends' auctions or make friend-only auctions be kind of nice? 
Liaden tells you how many of your friends are online at one time and lets you pick which of your friends should show up on your den page. I don't accept friend requests very often on Liaden. You get a notification, but the notification message doesn't have a link to the acceptance page, so it's kind of easy to ignore. Here are a few ideas I have for Liaden. Friend rates for studying, playing with a friend's lioness, and the capabilities to message all of your friends at once. I have the highest expectations for Liaden, so get your act together. At the end of the day, I will continue accepting friend requests regardless of functionality. I think the current virtual pet landscape doesn't take the concept far enough. Mobile games are great at turning social connections into assets. Let's compete and make our games great in every way possible. All right, I'll get off my soapbox now. But what do you think? Do I care too much about this small feature? How do you think friends should be handled in games? Comment your input. Keep in mind that I do live stream every Sunday, so go ahead and subscribe to Simmer Julie Live in order to get updates for that. I live stream at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday. This week it'll happen, but next week it won't because I will be out of town. Also, I have a Patreon for those of you who are interested in donating a bit more to keeping this channel alive. Like this video if it made you think, and subscribe if you want to see more virtual pet game videos. Thanks!